Hey everyone, it's Laura. I have just a few things to show you guys. I got a small order from Ipsy. I got a fragrance sampler from Macy's through Pop Sugar Dabble. And then I won a giveaway from Charmaine Staycation. So I will show you that first. And I actually already took it out of the package um, because I want to start it right away. <laughs> this is from her book club that she's doing. Um, and she was doing giveaway to win the book for it's well, it's July book that we're discussing in August. So it's like, anyway, it's the current book. It's called Stalking Jack the Ripper. And I'm really, really excited. Um, it's by Carrie Maniscalco. I don't know. And it got sent to me through Book Depository. So she ordered it online through them. And then they shipped it directly to me because Charmaine's in Canada. And I got a free bookmark. So we know I love bookmarks. <laughs> and I love free stuff. So really excited to start reading it. So I got to get going because the discussion starts next week. <laughs> so I just got it a couple of days ago. So thank you so much, Charmaine. I will link Charmaine in the description box below. We just collabed on Mask Monday too. So if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it because there's a little giveaway, just some, some sheet masks. So thank you, Charmaine. Then the Pop Sugar Dabble, um, it was six Macy's fragrances, which I already took out of the package and already tried and thought I was recording and I wasn't. So that's fun. So I will just uh, whip through this really quick because I already sprayed them all and tried most of them. <laughs> so we got three men's fragrances and three women's or three masculine and three feminine. Let's put it that way. So these are the masculine ones. We got Bad Boy by Carolina Herrera. It's Bad Boy Cobalt, which is probably like a different version of the regular Bad Boy. And this one has, um, it says it's electrifying and edgy. Notes of pink pepper, geranium, lavender, black plum, truffle accord, and I don't know how to say that word. V-E-T-I-V-E-R. It looks like vetiver, but I'm sure it's not because it's French. So... And the bottle, isn't that weird? Kind of hokey. Looks like a lightning bolt. So, and the sampler is mm, slightly more than half full. And the men's ones are strong enough. You can actually just smell them right in the bottle. You don't have to spritz them out in the air. Ah, and the jury's out on that one. I will give it to Ricky and let him try it. i not loving that one, so... Not sure about that one. Then we got Phantom by Paco Rabanne. I don't know how well you can see it because it was in a little foil packet that I ripped open. And like I said, I wasn't filming, so I have to start over. Um, it's almost full, so props for that. And doesn't list the notes anywhere in the package, just the ingredients. It's very light. It's not a strong scent at all. All right, I'm gonna spritz that one in the air. It just smells real clean. It's kind of boring, to be honest. It, there's not a lot to it, so I'm not sure. But, you know, I'll give him to Ricky and let him try. Then the last man's fragrance, or masculine fragrance, is Dolce & Gabbana. And it doesn't say, like, what Dolce & Gabbana what. Like, light blue or whatever. It just has the letter K on the bottle. And on the back, it just says Dolce & Gabbana. So I don't know. Because um, they do make light blue for him and, and her. Poor home. <laughs> so I don't know. And yeah, it's just got a letter K on it with like a crown. So king? I don't know. It smells really, really freaking good. Really good. It says, this masculine fragrance is a vibrant fusion of Italian citruses embraced by burning aromatic notes, um, deepening into noble cedarwood, unforgettable for the senses. I really like that. It smells really good. Um, a few months ago, I bought Ricky a bottle of uh, Versace Eros, I think it is. And this kind of reminds me of that. He likes that, that woodsy scent. So I think he'll enjoy that one. And then the three fragrances that we got for women. And I'm not spraying them again because I already did and it was not good for me. <laughs> so it was this Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Lily. Um, it is super sweet. 
and super florally and uh, headache inducing for this girl. So I am not interested. I know somebody that loves fragrances, so I will see if she wants that. And then another one I did not like <laughs> is Victor and Rolf Good Fortune. I had never tried this one before. I've only tried Flower Bomb before, and I don't care for Flower Bomb either. Um, this one was really strong, which shouldn't have been surprising because it's Victor and Rolf. That's there's a reason why they call it Flower Bomb. I mean, it literally smells like like flowers exploded everywhere. So I didn't like this one either, but. This was the last uh, feminine fragrance. This Idol, I think is how you say it, by Lancome. Very nice, real clean, light, and barely full bottle, which I hate that. But I'm going to spritz this one again. I'll spritz it the other direction, though. Yeah, that one is just like soft, um, real clean smelling. A hint of rose. Oh, no wonder why it smells clean. It says nectar. So this must be a different version of Idol, Idol nectar, I guess. Yeah, Eau de Parfum nectar, it says. So it's kind of citrusy. I love citrus scents. The only floral scents that I like are Lily of the Valley, Rose, and Lavender, of course, is like my all-time favorite scent ever. So when I... I don't wear a lot of perfumes unless they're clean scents. That's what I like because then I don't get headaches. Um, those other floral scents, I don't mind them when they're alone. I So like a, an essential oil type of thing I can wear. But I don't wear a lot of perfumes unless they're just like really clean scented. So that one I like. That one's nice. Um, I can wear some of the Coach perfumes. Um, I recently tried. Oh, shoot. I just had the name and then I forgot it. I'll think of it and then I'll come back. Um, oh, Burberry Brit Her, I think it was. No problems with that one at all. So I don't know. I, I never know which ones I'm going to be able to wear and which ones I can't, which ones will give me a headache. So that's why I like getting samplers because then I can try them. So that was that. Now I will show you my Ipsy order. Again, these are all out of the package because I thought I was filming. I got three um things that were each five dollars two of them were five dollar bundles and then one was just an individual item it was when they had their last like pop-up so i got two sets of these creme shop masks there's two in here and this was five dollars for both of these they came in you know in their little bags that they put them in so they are um the fusion sheet masks this one is watermelon and kombucha um, it says the watermelon part is for hydration and oil control. The kombucha is to detoxify and brighten. And then the other mask is the turmeric and matcha. I've used this one. I haven't tried this one yet, but I've used this one. It's really good. So the turmeric says it's antioxidant rich in youth promotion. And then the matcha is rejuvenating and anti-inflammatory. So again, I got two sets of four, so four masks for $5. So I was really happy with that. And then I got a little hair care bundle. Um, I've used both of these before and they're really good. This is the Foxy Bay Instant Bay. It's a hair mask, three minute hair mask. I do these once a week. I'll do like a detoxifying shampoo and then a hair mask. Um, Cause the detox is to like get all the gunk out of my scalp. And then this is to put the moisture back in your hair because the detox shampoo strips it out. So anyway, so I got that and then I got this Pure Brazilian leave-in conditioner, and it's a spray. So that, oh, and one more thing. So I, these two were $5 also. And then the last thing I got, and again, this is out of the box already, but I got this um, eyebrow pencil from Item Beauty. Um, I think it's called Brow Chow. And the color I got is Warm Blonde. And I've had this before and I really like it. So when I saw, and I used it all up, when I saw it was available, and the pop-up, I was like, yes, please. This is a really nice shade for me. The blonde shades or taupe is what works best because, you know, my hair color. And so it's, a, you know, the twist-up kind. And then the other side, instead of a spoolie, has the world's most adorable tiny little brush. How freaking, look, can you see how tiny that brush is? It's so cute and it's really soft, but firm, you know, for, anyway. I love this eyebrow pencil. I've had it before. Like I said, I really like it. It was only five bucks. So 
that's all I have to show you in this little miscellaneous haul. Um, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll link Charmaine in the description box below. Thank you, Charmaine, for the giveaway. I'm so excited to read the book and be part of your book club. And I will see you all on my next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.